<laughs> but hey, changing gears now, you know what is stunning and mysterious and might actually seem out of this world? Yeah, it's called the cloud of the month for June, and we are talking about lenticularis cloud. And joining us now to tell us more about this awesome cloud is the Cloud Appreciation Society founder, Gavin Prater Pinney. Gavin, thank you so much for joining us. Fantastic pick for the cloud of the month. Tell us what is so special about this cloud and its unique characteristics. Well, I mean, Maria Paul, it looks like a flying saucer, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> you can't argue with it. The, the amazing thing about it is the way it looks. Uh, the, the, the name lenticularis comes from the Latin for a lentil, but you know, that's probably because they didn't have the Latin for a UFO. Sometimes <laughs> these clouds look like uh, they're sort of stacked up when you'd call them a stack of plates. In fact, the, the French name for that formation is a stack of plates in French. And sometimes you see them embedded in a layer of cloud. So you've got a, a layer of cloud above you and you see the base of this kind of lozenge-like, disc-like cloud appearing below it. Okay, Gavin, tell us, tell us more about how these uh, forms, these, these clouds form and uh, where they appear. Well, I will. I will tell you just that. And in fact, I'm going to draw you a diagram. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to say as well that sometimes if you're seeing them from above, they can look like um, kind of mounds, like you're seeing uh, snowdrifts or something. They don't have the, the, uh, the, the cauliflower tops that you see on, on convection clouds. All right. Um, here's the clue of how they form. They often form around mountains. Sometimes you see these over the top of mountains when they're called cap clouds. And what happens is this. The airstream, when you have a wind, has to rise to pass over the mountain, all right? So here it is. The mountain's like an enormous obstacle. And if it's stable conditions, atmospherically stable conditions, you can get this rising and dipping of the airstream downwind of the peak. So it goes in a wave. And the cloud can appear at this crest of the invisible wave of air. So you don't see the wave of air, it's a standing wave. As the air flows through, the wave's position is fixed, but the cloud makes it visible, the crest of that wave. And sometimes you even see the one uh, after the other, where you get clouds uh, forming in the sort of the subsequent waves further down. You get like a, a row of them. Um, and so that line of clouds really shows you the lenticularis formation. Now, I uh, think this is not only it's one of my favorite types of clouds, and I love the fact that it's got this mysterious UFO-like quality. But I heard that it, is, it might also be the favorite cloud of Jim Cantore. <laughs> Check that for me. I, I would have to agree. Gavin Prater Penny, founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society, I think he definitely appreciates lenticularis. And what a great explanation. And they do, they kind of hover like yeah. a UFO. And I got to say, he is the best arrow drawer on I this love it. I'm like, I'm amazed by it. Brilliant. Can do that. Yeah, very cool. Oh, very cool. Stuff. Well, bracing for impact as we take a look at Cabo, we'll tell you how Hurricane Blanca will affect this resort town. I'd like to put in my 15 year notice. You're quitting.